2020. Yeah. 2020. The year of the gifts and the curses. The roller coasters. I know I'm not the only one who went through it. Man, I went from 19 subscribers to about 1,500. I went from five videos to 68 videos. It's been a roller coaster for me, personally and creatively. But I made it to 2021. You wanna know how I got there? Shit, now that I think about it, time flew by. Time? I live forever, I don't ever die. Murder, murder, murder on my mind. Line after line after line. Time after time, I'ma thrive. Push a button, then I start to drive. Surf boy ripping through the tides. So, my 2019 didn't end too well, but I entered 2020 regardless, you know. One whole piece, I'm still here. So, I figured why not make the best of it. Even though I didn't enter it well, it didn't take too long for things to turn around for me. So about two weeks in, about January 15th, I flew out to Florida. Now this isn't in a regular vacation. I went out to Florida to play football. I just didn't go out there to play football. I went out there to play in a national game since we won regionals here in Massachusetts. So we went out there we went to face a team called the Texas Colts. Um, and this is my first time. I'm like, I'm going to vlog. Everybody knows me as the introvert. I'm going to vlog in front of their fellas and see how they take it. And they embraced the cameraman. They embraced the camera. Uh, we did our job. We partied. We went there and we won the game. If you guys want to see that, check it out. Um, it's the first time I really got to vibe with the fellas, even though I've been on this team for two years now. Um, never got a moment to really vibe and bond. And this was like the most vibing because we stayed in beautiful villas. We, uh, we, we was living together. It was like a real world house, but with all the guys. And it wasn't just party, party and play because we went on there in a business trip and I was to win the Nationals game. And that's what we did. So again, check that video out. Um, we stayed there for about four days, went to Disney World, did all that good stuff. Um, and what I learned from there is, you know, I recorded a lot and I broke it up into about four or five um, different videos and I left each one with a cliffhanger like so you gotta come to the next one and peep so um, it was a beautiful experience and to be honest that's what's keeping my engine going now like I, I want to play football even more because that's another experience I want to have I want to go to another state win on another person's feel you know and uh do big things and put on for the state and for the city um i feel like I've, I've been working hard enough and this is when i get to not kick back i still gotta put in work but you know i get to enjoy the fruits of this labor so yeah february you know this is right after the trip to florida now I'm going to New Orleans. Now, I wanted to celebrate Mardi Gras for the longest time, for at least three years, and my boys were back out at the last second, and things never went according to plan. But this time, it actually happened. I made it down to Mardi Gras. I drove down there, and I have a video about that road trip. But, you know, I drove down there, and I flew home, but I had a good time. It is one of the most greatest experiences that I've ever lived through. It's just like you. I went out there and I turned up for like five days straight during Mardi Gras, five or six days. And it was a good time. The vibes was good. There was no drama. People was meeting you, buying any drinks. There was cleavage everywhere. But yeah, it was it was such a good time and uh you know, seeing everybody in masquerade masks, beads being thrown, 
Shit, some of them I felt like it was to hurt you, not really to celebrate you, but that's another story. But um, again, I recorded a lot. I left each video on a cliffhanger and I made a good four videos out of it. And uh, one of them being the road trip and I think two, two or three of our experience there. I went with two good friends, two women that I went with. And if you guys wanna meet them, please watch that video. Um, or if you just wanna see what Mardi Gras is like from my point of view, hey, the video is there. This is what the content is for. It's never too late to go back and look at these things. I would appreciate you if you did, if you didn't see it. Um, it was good times and good vibes. It's very funny. Um, and you got to live through me because you kind of got to right now because yeah so you know if you can't make it this year because of you could live it through me and safe virtually March was kind of crazy Soon as we get off the plane and land, we're hearing breaking news about something called Corona. I've never heard of this Corona before. The only Corona I've ever heard of was the beer. This wasn't that. This was something that was shutting down everything. Everybody was walking around with masks. And I'm like, what is going on? Like, I was confused. We was confused. The two people I went with was confused. And, you know, not too long after that, my job kind of shut down. And not that we couldn't work, but we had to work every other week. There was two teams. So I would work the first week off the second, work the third week off the fourth. And I'm not gonna lie, those weeks off was very long. For somebody who's used to working and keeping their hands busy and going to the gyms, which was closed, it was, pretty tough for me and to be honest like if you're like me and that active and then you're just not active and kind of just rotting away in the house for a whole week is just like a lot of things just creep up on you that you didn't know you have like in a way I would say depression uh, I was thinking about quitting YouTube like I made a huge investment to be here I told you guys about the money that I spent on equipment and I'm just like my creative flow is not going and I can't do this and I kept looking at other youtubers with millions of views and I'm just like I can't do this I can't do this the whole week I had seven days to think about like how I'm not popping and it frustrated me. It really did. And um, that was just a hard month. So the month of March was all about self-reflection. And this was sort of in a personal way and in a creative way. I had so much time with nothing to do with it. And March just wasn't a good time for me. April. I'm still working every other week, but now I'm just like, I'm getting that motivation. Something came within me like, you know what? I'm gonna do something about this. I'm gonna do something about this and I'm gonna start like my creative mind flow. So that's when I started writing down everything, creating milestones and goals I wanted to achieve before the year ended. And I wrote them all down, got the blueprint, and my mind started going. In the midst of all this, I'm still working every other week. Everything is closed. The barbershops is closed. I was looking real rugged. I looked crazy. And you know, me and crazy looking don't really go alike, but that's fine. It happened. Uh, I lived through it. So April was the month that I decided that I'm gonna turn my investment into something. Instead of making excuses and settling for failure, I was gonna come up with solutions to succeed. May, the best month of the year. But this wasn't any old May. This time I was turning 30. In a pandemic. So, it wasn't the best time because I couldn't really go out and do what I wanted to do, but I made it to 30 and that's a milestone for 
anyone black within itself. And speaking of being black, you know, it was a real emotional month for black people. Um, we just went through a struggle. Emotionally and mentally, it was just like draining. We all felt like a weight on our shoulders and more than ever, it was a time where we had to speak up. And towards the end of May, that's exactly what we did. June, of course, follows May. June was the month that everybody decided to stand up and fight against racial injustices. Um, everybody started to stand up against the police killings. And it was March at the March at the March. Not just in Boston, not just in Massachusetts, not just in America, but everywhere around the world heard us. When I say us, I mean black people. They heard us, they felt us. Whether you walked with or against, our voices was heard. It's the most productive month that I've lived being in black skin that I felt like was a turning point. I know we've done it before. I've, I've know, I know it's gonna happen again. But this was the month we put our foot down. I was downtown Boston marching by myself because I want to change and I'm also going to be part of that history when it does change. I marched in every footstep that anybody else would have and unfortunately like you know I got some tear gas in my eyes for the first time. I got pepper sprayed and mind you I wasn't doing anything crazy but there's a video on that so check it out. July the most ambitious month yet this is the month that I decided to take everything that I brainstormed back in April, took it off the page and put it onto YouTube in a form of video content that most of you watched. This is the month I got 1,000 subscribers. This is the month that I changed my intro and my outro about two to three times. I found these people who was doing intros and outros and YouTube banners on IG. I paid a little pretty penny to get these things done, but it got done. And I had to tweak it myself a little bit, but at the end of the day, it was beautiful and this formed my page. It started to look like a page, like it wasn't just blank and, and bare. Like this is the first time that I'm, it looked like my account was just branded and remodeled. And I loved it. I reached out to a lot of people to get this done. Some of them was great. Some of them was not so great. So in the month of July, I decided I'm gonna make a video for every day of the month. There's 31 days in July. I end up making 27, but I still made up those four not too long after July. So. I put up 31 videos for the month of July, I, at least I recorded 31, but I uploaded 27, but I still got the 31 out. So I really had to challenge myself and it wasn't for anything, it wasn't like a vlog miss or a summer miss, if that's even a thing. I should make that a thing. It was just really to challenge myself, I wanted to see if I can do it and I'm telling you. That was very exhausting to try to come up with videos on the fly, come up with something every day, edit it every day. Like, it was tough. And it's not easy being a content creator. Like, it's a lot that goes into it. And when it, like, just gets, like, 10, 20 views, it's, it's not a good feeling. But it's happened and... I guess it's part of the process. You gotta start somewhere. So I understand the hustle and what you gotta do to get off the ground. So towards the end of July, YouTube had a competition called Day in a Life. I decided to participate in this and I shot a Day in a Life video at the end of July. I did not submit it on time. So what I did was make it my own I decided to do a giveaway, which is still active, because nobody has figured out what it was, the f two flaws in the video. You just need to come up with one, but nobody figured out the two flaws that was in the video. So that is still going. Check that video out. 
leave a comment on what you think the flaw is and you could win $50. But I decided to make it my own and it is my most successful video on YouTube till date. Got about 15,000 views, the most I've ever had and it's still growing. So check that out if you can and you can win $50 possibly. This month, like I said, was the most ambitious month and I learned that hard work really does pay off. Everything that I brainstormed and I created it wasn't everything that I thought it would be, but it was still a start and it was better than what I was doing, which was nothing. And um, hard work pays off, guys. Now we're in August. This is the first trip that I've taken since Mardi Gras in February. This time it wasn't about partying and turning up. This one was about business. This is about painting the future for our youth. We decided to drive down to Baltimore, Maryland to stay. And then we took a drive in the morning to Washington DC to be a part of the March on Washington. The March on Washington in 2020 was the 57th anniversary of the Martin Luther King, I Had a Dream speech. During the pandemic, hundreds of thousands of people with shoulder to shoulder, wearing our mask, and marching for justice. We are marching for change. We're marching for equality. Black Lives Matter. It was very nerve wracking. It was very hot. Um, and you just kind of felt the support from all colors. You've seen black people. You've seen Spanish people. You've seen white people. Like, they, we was all out there. And it was for a good cause and it was peaceful. That's the most important part I took from that. So following that in September and October was a rest month for me. You know, I had just got done doing the, uh, the 31 days in July, it just went to the 57th anniversary of um, the March on Washington. And I was really exhausted. I was going through it in my personal life um, I was going through it creatively again and I just couldn't keep up like the creative mind just wasn't going for me um, it's not that I ran out of ideas it was just like I just wasn't in a mood for it like I literally felt like there was a weight on my shoulder kind of like keeping me down in it it was very unfortunate that I couldn't be productive these months. As much as I wanted to, I always looked at my equipment and said, I'm ready to shoot. But it's just things beyond YouTube that, that kind of keeps you from doing certain things you want to do. And maybe I'll talk about it in another video, but for the months of September and October, it was just like, man, take care of yourself it was a well needed break take care of yourself and you guys remember that regardless of how good any type of money is um, I wasn't making money then um, on here at least um, regardless of how good the money is regardless of how good you love it you just need time for yourself to kind of just relax reset and uh, just move forward November I decided not to do Vlogmas because again, I was still pretty exhausted, but I did do the 31 days in July. So next year I'll definitely do Vlogmas, but I decided I wasn't gonna do Vlogmas this year. But my creative mind came back, my juices started flowing, and I started jotting things down, brainstorming. But this time it was how I'm gonna take over 2021. December, I finally get monetized. I woke up to 32 cent. I had 1,700 subscribers. Matter of fact, check out the last video for December. I, I covered that. The lesson of this month is, you know how you drive uh, home at the work in the evening and you're like, I'll get gas in the morning. Then when you decide to get gas in the morning, now you're late for work because you left your house late. It's just like, why did I wait for the morning to get gas? Well, it's the same thing about videos. Don't wait till the morning to start shooting your video. If you have the idea, just knock it out the park now because you know in the morning, you're not gonna have that same flow. You're not gonna have that same blood flowing and 
it's just a disaster and then you probably won't end up doing a video so that's my lesson to you guys you guys that was my 2020 i hope you stayed to the end to enjoy it i gave you guys a few tips along the way or lessons to learn from things 2020 was a hell of a roller coaster it was up and down and i'm sure you guys went through the same thing if not a little different so you know i would love to hear what you guys went through so leave a comment in the comment section and you know converse with me tell me how your 2020 went compared to mine was it worse was it better was it about the same or tell me what was worse what was better what was the same did we go through the same struggle i don't know you tell me but that's my time y'all again i thank you for vibing with me and 2021 is gonna be a banger it's gonna be good it's gonna be good so guys stick around i got more content coming from you i'm turk and i'm out hold up before you guys leave so i've been posting a lot of youtube hashtags under my pictures on ig and i get a lot a lot a lot of contact from um these social media managers youtube managers uh youtube experts things like that now i'm not gonna say don't trust these people but make sure you like scout and vet them out make sure you do every bit of research before you give them your money because you don't want to get played i have not been played because i feel like i'm old enough so they couldn't play me and i have a team that works with me to make sure things are legit for real for real i'm turk and i'm out thank you for watching this video and make sure you click on the next one too dad what's wrong had to hit me now i'm sipping on the deuce deuce i just wanted to get big on youtube Mm-hmm. You still here? Well, while you're here, go ahead and click that like button and the subscribe button. Okay, the notification bell too. Leave a comment saying you did so. Lastly, click the video on the right for more cool content. It's Turk time.